What's going on everybody? It's Corey here with Bike On. Today I'm bringing you a special Bike On exclusive review. All the way over from Italy, what we have today, Madeline Race XE. I know a lot of you have probably have seen the posts, um, have seen the teasers out there. We got one in. It's finally time to get this thing out on the trails. Uh, I'm bringing you a woods review on it for the first time. Um, this is their full assist version and we're gonna see what it takes. Well, we just hit our first full descent on the Madeline Race XE. Um, this thing cruises, man. Um, the DI2, phenomenal shifting on the way up and down. Um, so we're gonna continue here with a little bit more of our, our lap um, and, uh, and see what this baby can, can really handle and what it's all about. E-bikes are just the new way to go, honestly. We just climbed up all the way on that and it worked great. Now, the only downfall that I'm finding 
is if you maybe had watched my last hand cycle review, we were talking about the Lasher, uh, the full suspension edition. Um, I know that Madeline is coming out with a rear suspension option, which would definitely be needed. Some of these rock crawls that I was going up down right there, um, what it will do is just, just even out the body a little bit better, even out the bike. And I think that's just something that, uh, that ne is needed for this bike. If you're wanting to get into a spot where I am out here, I'm exploring, exploring the trails, you know? If you're on the road, phew, this thing would be night and day. And the only other addition, what I don't have on this one, which would, I should have known better, would be to add the all-terrain tires on here. Relatively, I'm kind of riding on a hybrid road tire. Uh, I definitely would put the Navi tires on this one and uh, be able to give it another go for sure. But, uh, but so far, I mean, I can't complain at all, to be honest with you. We're out here, right? Here we go. didn't know the bike that I'm on out here today is the Madeline Race XE, an Italian handmade bike um, that we are an exclusive US dealer for. If you're looking to build an ultimate machine, road bike, they cover with the carbide, um, in two versions, a T800 and a T1000 carbon fiber for your marathon racers and stuff like that. What I'm on here today, like I said, is a Race XE. This is kind of their road version over their off-road version, even though I'm out here in the woods on it. Um, it's still doing the job, that's for sure. Like I had mentioned earlier on mid-ride, mid things I would have done just to make this ride a little bit even better would have been just the knobby tires on here, 26 inch rims all the way around. These are aluminum wheels bike rims. Pretty, pretty good roll to them and everything like that. Um, I have no complaints, to be honest with you. Um, kind of the first time being out on this Madeline, that's for sure, um, and really utilizing those wheeled bike rims. So, I can't complain at all. The plus side to those is they come wrapped in Vittoria uh, tattooed lights. Obviously change those up if you needed to, um, but uh, definitely a solid tire right out the gate for you. These are kind of a hybrid, yeah, kind of a hybrid off-road, uh, on-road tire. I'm gonna say more towards an on-road, but did me no problem out here riding where I am today. Out on these fire road trails, on some more narrow trails with some rocks and stuff like that. So always, always really good. So with this bike, um, like I said, it's electric assist only. Um, it has a Bafang mid-drive motor with it. This version is a 250 watt. Now with the race exit, you have the option to go with a single battery tray, which as you see, I have on here now, or you have the availability to add additional one on, on here. If you're somebody that's gonna be riding a lot, especially on the road, I would say, and you know, putting in a lot of miles, the two batteries might not be the best um, option for you. But if you're somebody that wants to be out here in the woods, you're really gonna find yourself pulling a lot more power, utilizing a lot more of the pedal assist, then the second battery may not be the, the worst option for you, to be honest with you. Uh, a couple of the little added features, like I said, um, it does have DI2, Shimano XT DI2, uh, perfect shifting all along, you know, even on a, a hard pedal crank, um, it still gets the shifting done. No complaints across the board there. Um, it does have a throttle assist mode right here. So if you find yourself stuck, like I had a couple of times there, making a couple of climbs, boom, flip that little throttle switch right there, you get that added boost out of that mid-drive motor. The benefit for any assist bike, of course. Um, so yeah, I mean, ground clearance on this thing 
is amazing. I, you know, out here on the roads, um, I should say on the trails, um, I forget the exact clearance off the top of my head. I will leave that in the description notes, of course, and with the link directly to the product, of course. Um, but you're definitely gonna have, I would say at least 13, maybe even 14 inches. It's kind of tapered, the frame here, so you're gonna get more along where the front fork tube meets um, and the headset and everything like that. And then towards the back around, it kind of slims out more near the bottle, um, right along where your butt is, I would say is the lowest point. But for me, the the climbs that I was doing, I mean, I'm not doing anything too crazy out here today, but um, it definitely, I didn't bottom out on anything, that's for sure. So it's definitely got the good ground clearance if you're looking to get out here on the trails like myself. And, and a couple other added features which are nice, you know, we do have leg guards on here. Um, these are aluminum, both sides obviously on the chain side, so you're not getting, you're gonna get your pants caught up in it or anything like that. Um, these cranks are made by Madeline, super lightweight, I will say, um, of course the rotation and even the hand pedals are really nice. If you're looking to upgrade these a little bit, which, you know, if you're riding a lot, I would suggest maybe going, checking out some C5 grips we got, Ergo lights are great. Um, just that added padded you might need over the aluminum hand pedals. But out here with me, I got my gloves on, so I'm feeling, feeling all right, especially on a cold morning like it is today. Here was probably about 34, 36 degrees at first. I started without the gloves on, but I had to put them on. You know, that's the only downside with aluminum hand, hand, uh, hand cranks here because hands do get cold unless you're riding in warm weather, like some of you probably are. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue on here. Um, just running over a couple of basics for you. Um, single chain ring up front, of course, but the mid drive motor, you're not gonna be able to have a dual chain ring there. Um, takes up just a lot of space and the whole cockpit area and stuff like that. And other than that, I mean, overall, like I said, you're gonna have, you know, your, your parking brake lockout right here. A um, couple clicks up that way. I want to un untighten it there. It clicks all the way down. And then you're ready to roll right there. And yeah, I want to say that kind of covers the basics of everything, guys. Um, like I said before, um, the added one thing that I really found really useful today was my my Dakin pack. Um, I would highly recommend it. I mean, it's on the back here, like you can probably see, right around the seat. Uh, oh, which is also to add, this seat super 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 comfortable. Um, I, I don't even think I would I would be one to kind of go and upgrade it to be honest with you. Uh, you know, until until it's seen its wear and tear, it's not something you're gonna want to do out the gate for sure. Um, the backrest. Fully adjustable. Um, you can't really see too much here because I got my my Dakin pack on, but yeah, we can push up right there. So I have it kind of on an upright angle out here, being in the woods. I mean, I kind of wanted a lot more upper body strength to really crank me up some of those hills, the root climbs and stuff like that. So, um, but you have the availability to go pretty far back, um, depending on how far you want to go back. It's up to you. You know, it's always a comfort of preference. So, but uh, but overall, you know, this Madeline really kicks ass. So I'm gonna continue with my ride here. And if there's any questions, of course, you guys have, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, just be on the lookout for the, for the next reviews. Thanks guys.